Hello guys, uh, good afternoon. I'm Architect Oliver and I prepared another set of questions uh, para makatulong sa pagre-review nyo. Uh, by this time, I prepared the uh, RA9514, the fire code of the Philippines. So, uh, let's start. Number one, as per RA9514, this consists of a written report prepared by the architect and his fire protection consultant. A. Falar 1 B. Falar 3 C. Falar 2 D. Falar 4 Answer A. Falar 1 Number 2 A finely powdered substance which when mixed with air in a proper proportion and ignited will cause an explosion. Again, a finely powdered substance which when mixed with air in a proper proportion and ignited will cause an explosion. A. Powder B. Gust C. Chemical compound D. Dust Answer D. Dust Number 3 An extremely hot luminous bridge formed by passage of electric current across a space between two conductors or terminals due to the incandescent of the conducting vapor. Again, an extremely hot luminous bridge formed by passage of an electric current across a space between two conductors or terminals due to the incandescent of the conducting vapor. A. Electric arc B. Electric current C. Electric shock D. Electric ground Answer A. Electric arc Number 4 The time in which flame will spread over the surface of a burning material Again, the time in which flame will spread over the space of a burning material A. Fire resistance rating B. Flammable finish C. Flame spread rating D. Smoke development rating Answer C. Flame spread rating Number 5 What shall be the minimum width of the condominium corridor with a required capacity of more than 50% in accordance to fire code of the Philippines. Again, what shall be the minimum width of the condominium corridor with the required capacity of more than 50 person in accordance to fire protection, fire code of the Philippines? A. 112 centimeter B. 122 centimeter C. 91 centimeter D. 96 centimeter Answer A. 112 centimeter Number 7. Any act that would remove or neutralize a fire hazard. Again, any act that would remove or neutralize a fire hazard. A. Abutment B. Extinguish C. Exile D. Abatement Answer D. Abatement Number 1 As per RA9514 
When the occupant load for any story or portion thereof is more than 500 but not more than 1,000, what shall be the minimum number of means of egress? Again, as for RA9514, when the occupant load for any story or portion thereof is more than 500 but not more than 1,000, what shall be the minimum number of means of egress? A. 1 B. 2 C. 3 D. 4 Answer C. 3 Number 2 As per RA9514, if the occupant load exceeds more than 1,000, what shall be the minimum number of means of egress? Again, as per RA9514, if the occupant load exceeds more than 1,000, what shall be the minimum number of means of egress? A. 1 B. 2 C. 3 D. 4 Answer D. 4 Number 3 As per RA9514, it consists of a written report prepared by the building owner, his fire safety officer, or his authorized representative. This is a compilation of the maintenance and testing record kept by the building engineering and maintenance department. Again, as per RA9514, it consists of a written report prepared by the building owner, his fire safety officer, or his authorized representative. This is a compilation of the maintenance and testing record kept by the building engineering and maintenance department. A. Falar 1 B. Falar 3 C. Falar 2 D. Falar 4 Answer B. Falar 3 Number 4 As per RA9514, a compilation of report of all approved submittals, test, and acceptance form of all fire protection and life safety features and shall form part of the as-built documents turned over by the contractor to the building owner. Again, as per RA9514, a compilation of report of all approved submittals, test, and accept, acceptance form of all fire protection and life safety features and shall form part of the building of the as-built documents turned over by the contractor to the building owner. A. Falar 1 B. Falar 3 C. Falar 2 D. Falar 4 Answer C. Falar 2 Number 5 Upon completion of the project and to comply with the fire safety requirements, a fire safety inspe inspection certificate shall be issued by the Bureau of Fire Protection as a prere prerequisite for the issuance of occupancy permit. The following has to be submitted except Again Upon completion of the project and to comply with the fire safety requirements, a fire safety inspection certificate shall be issued by the Bureau of Fire Protection as a prerequisite for the insurance of occupancy permit. The following has, the, has to be submitted except A. Endorsement from the building official B. Copy of fire insurance policy C. Photocopy of building permit and assessment of occupancy permit fee. D. Three sets of FALAR 1. Answer. D. Three sets of FALAR 1. 
Number six, what is the classification of fire involving flammable liquids and gases? Again, what is the classification of fire involving flammable liquids and gases? A. Class A B. Class C C. Class B D. Class D Answer B. Rather C. Class B Number 7 As for RA9514 it is a way of passage from one building to an area of refuge in, other, in another building on approximately the same level or a way of passage through or around a wall of, or partition to an area of refuge on approximately the same level in the same building which affords safely from fire or smoke from the area of escape and areas com communicating therewith. Sorry, again. As per RA9514, it is a way of passage from one building to an area of refuge in another building on approximately the same level, or a way of passage through and around a wall or partition of an area of refuge on approximately the same level in the same building, which afford safety from fire or smoke from the area of escape and areas communicating therewith. A. Exit passageway B. Exit C. Horizontal exit D. Fire exit Answer C. Horizontal exit Number 8 It is a box or cabinet where where fire hoses, valves, and other equipment are stored and arranged for fire fighting. Again, it is a box or cabinet where fire hoses, valves, and other equipment are stored and arranged for fire fighting. A. Hose reel B. Hose box C. Fire hose D. Firebox Answer B. Hose box Number 9 As per RA9514, all new elevators shall conform to the firefighters' emergency operation requirements of ASME A17.1 Safety Code for Elevators and Escalators Except building of less than how many story? A. 3 stories B. 5 stories C. 4 stories D. 6 stories Answer B. 5 stories Number 10. As per the Fire Code of the Philippines, imprisonment in case of willful failure to, conduct, to correct the deficiency or abate the fire hazard upon conviction is Again, as per the Fire Code of the Philippines, imprisonment in case of willful failure to correct the deficiency or abate the fire hazard upon conviction is A. 6 months to 6 years B. 5 months to 5 years C. 2 months to 2 years D. None of the above Answer A. 6 months to 6 years Number 11. What is the best fire extinguisher for protecting Class A fire? Again, what is the best fire extinguisher for protecting Class A fire? A. Dry chemical type 
B. Film forming pluripetine foam. C. Water type. D. Carbon dioxide. Answer. C. Water type. Number 16. As per RA9514, consisting of written report prepared by the architect and his fire protection consultant. A. Falar 1 B. Falar 3 C. Falar 2 D. Falar 4 Answer a. Falar 1 76. What is the maximum force in kilograms required for a panic hardware? Again, what is the maximum force in kilograms required for a panic hardware? A. 6 kg B. 8 kg C. 7 kg D. 10 kg Answer C. 7 kg 77. What is the minimum width of an aisle for hospital or nursing home? Again, what is the minimum width of an aisle for hospital or nursing home? A. 1.8 meter B. 1.12 meter C. 1.83 meter D. 2.44 meter Answer D. 2.44 meter 27. As per RA9514, it is stated that all interior stairwells used as means of egress shall be blank. In no cases shall a stairwell in high-rise building be allowed to be unprotected. A. Centralized B. Sprinkler protected C. Pressurized D. Extinguisher protected. Answer C. Pressurized. Okay, guys, uh, thank you very much uh, for watching this uh, video from the beginning until the end. Uh, this is a basic for uh, fire protection uh, or from fire code of the Philippines. Uh, I will try to make another one for uh, this uh, subject and uh, God bless and I hope na makatulong to sa pag-review nyo and uh, makapasa na kayo sa board exam. Thank you guys and see you for my next video. Thank you.